Okay, I'm now going to put together my speed controller, which is a 12 volt D VDC 5 amp PWM speed controller. Now that's all the parts, and that's my board. So I have resistors, diodes, everything to make that. And the way you actually know where everything goes, if you can see the little board, it actually tells you where everything goes. So I'm going to start it and we'll see if it works. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is my 10K resistor. So I've got to bend it to sort of go in the hole. So that's the first one. Now me 1K resistor will go in here. Like so. Me 120. Which is here. And me 220 resistor. So, and the 220. So now all I've got to do is solder that. So now I'm going to solder the first resistor. Now this is the soldering or the solder they give you in a pack. So I'll solder, I'll solder the rest of them. So now all I've got to do is just snip the wires off.
then that's the resistors. Now the next one is my diodes, which is the, the N4004, which is definitely this one. So the same again, I've got to actually bend the wire. squash it in. Like so. So I'll go ahead and solder that. And now I'm going to just put the last in uh, the N4004 diode but as you can see there's actually a picture where you got the mark and on you can actually see the mark on the or the band on the diode and the same Now I've got a smaller diode, which is a number 4148, which that's what it says, and the marks on the left, and the same again. And I'll solder that. And my last N148 diode actually goes here. So I'll solder that one. Now I've got the LED red light which will go here. That's what she's looking like. Now also you get clips for your fuse. And the clips will go like so. So I'll just go and solder them. Now I have three ceramic capacitors, which is these, which also go into the holes. like so
so I will solder them too. Also I've got me two terminals which goes so I'll solder that. Now also I'm going to put this timer IC in which this will just go over the top and then in, in here but I'll do it off camera because it's going to take me a while to get it in. Okay now I'm going to put my MOSFET in which is this one and it also has a screw but I'll also solder the back so I'll go ahead and solder it and also my turning knob which will go like so so I'll go ahead and solder that one and the last piece is the fuse which will go Now I've just got to make sure it works. Okay now I've just got the, on the left side is my positive power. And then I've got my black negative and then the last two on the right um, goes to my motor. So I'll turn it on. see the motor spinning so if I want more power or less which is stopped and as I turn the knob so turn it back So thanks for watching.